everybody, it's Gypsy, and today I have an interesting topic to talk about. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm in a good mood today because my son and daughter-in-law, uh, they're long-haul trucker team, and they happen to pass through the town, Ely, that I'm camped near, and so we had a great time last night. We met up, and so yes, it's great. Fix this. There we go. That's better. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had a great time. It is dark and gloomy today and cold, so Miss Persephone is nice and calm. I put her toy up on the bed to keep her occupied, but it's so cold and gloomy today, she's just sleeping. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in monsoon season here in the southwest, so yeah. It's hard when you live off of solar, though, during monsoon season. <laughs> um, so anyways... Today we're going to talk about what is an ET soul. We hear a lot about that. Now, a few years back, my spirit team, you know, my friends and family in the spirit realm, told me I'm an ET soul. Um, I, I guess the definition of this, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, uh, is a soul who typically has incarnations on other planets. Unfortunately, this aspect no, <laughs> of, of my soul didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, I have a feeling why. <laughs> the typical reason these days. Anyways, uh, from what I've heard, that is um, what a, what an ET soul is. Now, I want to say I'm not an expert on this. I know very little, even though uh, my soul is an ET soul. I consider the soul the higher self. I know people view it differently, and that's okay. That's just my view. There is, to me, no right or wrong answers. It's whatever uh, resonates with you, whatever fits for you, feels good for you. Okay? Um, so that's my definition. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, yes, introduce yourselves because nobody knows who's talking on the other side because they can't see you. <laughs> okay? Uh, this is... <laughs> This is your son, John. Yeah, okay. So an ET soul is basically what you said. And like we've told my mother, you guys have uh, a lot of definitions in terms, right, in terms, uh, that are close to being accurate, but not really the way we view it upstairs. So you're headed in the right direction, but you're not exactly on base. So always, yes, keep it, my mom's saying, so keep an open mind. Right, keep an open mind. And even the way, my good, very good mom, my mom is talking in her head to me. Even the way my mother is interpreting the information that she receives from upstairs, uh, right, could be slightly off base, the way she's hearing it, the way she's perceiving it, etc. So like she said, even the things she talks about on her videos, uh, be open about it. Right. Sorry, honey. It's okay. And if it doesn't resonate with you, if, if you can't, um, I just say associate with it, just leave it. There is no right, right or wrong answers for each individual, or, or yeah, for each individual person. So if you don't match up with someone else, including my mother in our messages, right, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Right. Uh, take it into consideration, like Mother said last night. Think about it. Right. So, the ET soul, in our definition of the spirit realm, is more or less, right, everybody, Mom. You had that right. Well, doesn't everybody incarnate? Yeah, their souls incarnate on various planets, or is it always Earth for some people? Right. And it's it's... Not. Now, there are those, like, like you, Mom, who incarnate more often on other planets. And you know uh, your incarnations here on Earth are far and few between. And my mother's head, she goes, yeah, thank God for that. Yeah. No, it's a beautiful planet. I just don't like what goes on here. Right. Now, there are other planets similar to Earth where bad things are going on. That's how you have... Um, extraterrestrials with reputations uh, that are nefarious, okay? So, Earth, I'm not going to say, is the worst planet in the solar system. In galaxy, universe, yeah. <laughs> right. 
uh, galaxy seems much smaller than the universe, am I correct? We're not sure. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, you can't have other incarnations on other planets. I believe we talked about this. I think we might have. I'll have to check. Right. But an ET soul is someone's uh, higher self. Sorry, honey. I got in the way. <laughs> yeah, it came out my mother's pronunciation. Appalachian twang. <laughs> um, so anyways, a soul that does not typically incarnate um, on this planet. Now you mother uh, know about five or six, minus the animals. Right. I incarnated as a penguin once in a tree frog. Right. Human being wise, you have those five or six that you're aware of. Right. Now, you're, asking, you're wondering if there's more, but yeah, it's not pertinent to everybody else out there. That's true. You have um, only those five or six here. All your other ones are, yes, mostly in the Sirius solar system. The dog named Lou, right? <laughs> and, and that's uh, the basic definition for um, an ET soul, somebody who typically does. Now, you had this thought, well... Would somebody always pick one planet, especially Earth, to incarnate on? How do you get those different experiences? Mom's thinking, right. Most people do occasionally do that, but the ET soul term that's been coined on Earth, and it is coined on Earth, and so are a lot of the definitions, which is why my mother is always questioning us. Is that correct? Right. So the ET soul, the basic definition for that is correct. Now, that next topic, I want to make it a separate video. Yeah, like the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I want to keep it ET soul right now. Okay, that's a good idea for this video. All right, so that's the basic definition. And my mother's went, well, why? Well, basically, it is along the lines of what people are assuming now. People who incarnated, uh oh, yeah, in other planets, mom's getting complicated, right? Um, are incarnating here more often. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I just asked my son. Well, the population, even though we've been trying to control it for a couple of definite uh, generations, it is still enormous. Right now, that is true. It's going to take a while for it to go down. Only two of your kids chose to stay here. People are having like two, no more than three kids these days. So it's eventually going to go down. But that is partially true. The population boom is somewhat related to so many spirits wanting to come here these days because of what is going on. Uh, things are changing, and part of it is the era changing, the age of Aquarius coming in. Uh, but we're trying to correct wrongs. <laughs> Mom's laughing. I know where, yeah. Mom, Mom is semi-aware of her past here. Right. So, um, hold on, I have to take a breath here. So she's kind of aware of where I'm going. Right. I don't totally understand this either. Correct. Um, in the past, mistakes were made on planet Earth. In regards to other ETs trying to come here and help Earth, was Earth not ready yet? Or was... I was going to get our call. Oops. I'm sorry, everyone. I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to turn off the phone. Give me a second. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I didn't. Sorry for that interruption. Um, right. This is not a new thing. In the past, others from other planets have tried to come in and help planet Earth. And then again, yes, you have that kind of war going on with other planets. Yes, a war. And it is true. And it's still going on today. I want to say Earth is not necessarily the brunt of these wars, but it's included. Right. Now, this planet has, yeah, dumbed down considerably uh, over many centuries. So, we have had, um, yes, an unawareness, Mom, of what's truly going on everywhere else. Right. Now, I think even when you were a little girl, you were taught this is the only planet, right, that has life on it. Right, especially in our religion, we were taught like we were the center of the universe and we're the only ones with life. Right. We all know better now. My mother always says, yes, it's arrogant, but how can you have a, 
Yes, a galaxy system this big with all these planets and Earth having the only human life on it. Intelligent life, let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, because you're wondering if other planets use the word human or consider them like us. Right. So, that's why there's so many ET souls um, incarnating here. Um, yeah, you did hear that. Yeah, it did. let's leave that. That's just looks. I mean, yeah, right. So anyway, it's right. Back in Egypt, right, ancient Egypt, right, Mom? Not that you have a memory, but because I told you, you get a feeling, right, I never had a clue, right, before you told me. There was a time when many other, I'm going to say solar systems, came to Earth. In Egypt or, or anywhere. Anywhere, basically, but the center of civilization uh, it was actually Egypt, right? Um, and you were one of them. Yeah, it was Sirius, right? Now Sirius has a reputation for being a very um, loving planet, uh, very good vibrations. So you came in, yeah. As Mother always does and tries to help people all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I gotta stop that, right? She still does that. Um, but things went awry. Now, you were afraid to ask what? Yeah. I look around and I thought, oh, God damn, did we screw up, right? Um, that's basically the truth. You try to correct <coughs> misgivings, misunder right, misunderstandings. And that's how my mother always is. Uh, yeah. She wants to correct wrongs, a misinformation, whatever. Which is basically what you do with this video channel. However, you're also very open-minded and if it doesn't, right, it's not going to make or break you, my mother is saying, uh, if, if you don't have it exactly right. Exactly. I mean, everybody goes to the same place. There's no hell and you don't have to do certain things. Right. I'm sorry. Right. So that's why my mom's so open-minded. If you can't accept it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Go with what you can. If it makes you feel better, that's how I feel, John. Right. So anyways, in Egypt, you had kind of that same attitude. Uh, the Earth planet was not ready to accept that. And things went awry. Right. You've heard. Uh, right. Now, you guys were there. Uh, yeah, those pictures of Nefertiti and others with the elongated head. Right. Weren't they really alien e ETs? We think so. We're not going to go into that right now. Okay. Yeah. Mom doesn't want to start a war about that. I, I, that's my belief, because I don't think there's ever been a time in human history on this earth, right? <laughs> so you believe they're ETs, right? From where, I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, they're just asking that question, right? So that's what happened. A lot of people from Sirius came down here to Earth to help out. Yeah. But things went awry, and yes, there was another war. Okay, from that point on, yes, Earth declined, I'm going to say especially spiritually. And people like my mother, who were trying to help, felt very bad. And you're right, stopped coming to Earth. Which is why you weren't hearing, right, about good ETs coming. If people, really, yes, if people did have an encounter, it was usually with what we consider the greys. They have a bad reputation here. Right. That's true, Mom. Um, just like any other uh, group of people, we're going to say. Yeah, he said people like that. Um, it's the bad apples, right? And there are some that are very good. So not all greys are bad. Not all reptilians are bad. But they, in general, they have that reputation that's very nefarious. However, uh, those from like Sirius, uh, Pleiadians, too, Pleiadians, right, they were trying to help. And they stopped coming here because, don't make it worse, right? Don't make it worse, Michelle, is what she's saying. So you never really heard about that. Um, you know, E.T.'s coming here because they kind of stopped. Well, now, we've gotten to the point in human history where um, things are more or less, yeah, coming to a head. Things, that was Aunt Charlotte, right? Um, they're coming to a head, and... They need to be stopped. Things need to be changed. And yes, it does have a lot to do with that astrological error, Pisces, uh, leaving and planet Earth is, is swinging back into Aquarius. That, 
it does have a factor in it because it's good, good time, right? Good timing. So you're having a lot of ET souls incarnating here, right? Now, exactly. You had one, and yes, you were Aspasia, a student of Socrates, and you taught too. Yeah, I love to teach. I can't help myself. That's what you do, you know, right? That was a very long time ago. You don't know history well enough to know if it was around that, right, before, or after, whatever. It was much, much later. I kind of thought so, but I wasn't sure. Right. Um, that was the start of your incarnating here. You were kind of warming up, okay? And I told you that, getting used to being here. It's hard. I'm still not used to it. <laughs> my dog. <laughs> we're not going to go there, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's my own personal um, business. Right. <laughs> I love this planet. <laughs> Mom, stop. No, I do. It's a beautiful planet. I just don't like what goes on here. I go home now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Gypsy from Gypsy Witch Creations. And I just wanted to let you know uh, that my spiral bound ruled notebooks featuring my paintings on the covers are on sale for 10% off until August 31st. Um, when you go to the website, be sure you order them from the Back to School collection to get that 10% off, which you get automatically at checkout. And while you're there, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter to receive 15% off your first item purchased. To do that, you just go to the bottom right-hand corner, click on the chat box, say hello, and a form pops up uh, for you to fill out to sign up for my newsletter, and then you will receive an email with a coupon code for the 15% off. Anyways, yeah, that's why she's a nomad. So I, yeah, she lives out in the country, like rural areas. Not, yes, in nature, as my mother says, because that's the part of the planet she likes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, so anyways, that's what happened. So now at this time in history, uh, people like, well, the Syrians, Palladians, um, who else? Oh, yeah, you have the Galactic Council. That's a real thing? It is, Mom. It's very real. A lot of people channel them. That's how you know about them. Right. They're working together to improve things here, right? That's why Earth has this reputation. And we look at it as a schoolroom to learn and advance more quickly. Yes, that question out loud. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't any planet where it's physical uh, and we are in form instead of in our true nature? Yeah, our true nature. <laughs> um, <laughs> my dad's laugh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a lesson anyways? I mean, to get us to advance, to grow spiritually? It is, and it would. But because of Earth's reputation about being, well, very warlike, uh, very violent, um, people think they need to come here to incarnate to do that. That's not necessarily where it's going, but it is kind of true. You come here, you're going to either uh, grow exponentially, yeah, we're not going to that, it's complicated, right, or you're going to digress. We can. We can make that choice to digress. Yeah, we've talked about that in the past. Right. <clears throat> so that's what this is all about. A lot of the people who come here uh, from an ET soul, right, lonely and shy, my mom is saying. Yeah. That's why you needed to overcome your shyness. Not that you were shy in every lifetime. In this time, life, lifetime, you were. Yeah, I was terribly shy, believe it or not, people. Right. You had to overcome that to do what you're doing now. And this is the truth, Mom. Right. So, sometimes she questions what I'm saying. You tell me to question. Right. I always say that. So, you have gotten to a point in your life, and yes, my death is what really prompted it. Right. My shyness, I was overcoming very slowly before he died. But when you lose a child, it changes you. And that anger really got me. All right. I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm changing things here. Everybody get out of my way. Right? Yeah. So, people are coming here in droves to change what happened back in ancient Egypt. Sorry, everybody. We screwed up. <laughs> now, it wasn't just you. It was also planet Earth. Yes, that's what you notice on this planet. Oh, yeah. People get these ideas in their head and they hold on to them so um, 
hard fast and won't let go. That they won't. They're not open minded. That, that is why you go there a lot. Yeah. And like I say, <laughs> Michelle, you don't have to take what I'm saying either. Yeah, just relax. <laughs> right? But listen to what others are saying and take it into consideration. Exactly. And that's why you're very hell bent. Yeah, and freedom too. You have a big thing about freedom. Right. So, that's what's going on now. So, there are a lot of ET souls. And yes, people who have a tendency to incarnate on Earth. Girl, I can't figure out why you'd want to have a tendency to incarnate here. Okay, I'm just joking. Right, Mom? I'm glad you threw that in. Okay, so anyways, it's going to be serious. Right. That's what's going on now. There are so many here. Why can't we be together? <laughs> I know we can't. Right, we, and you know we talked about why. Yeah, because if we're together, then we're just going to be in our own little yeah, tribe, as they call it today. And we're not going to pay attention to any of any of yuns out there who are who are typically, yeah, who like this planet. Yeah, we're just going to be, get us out of here. Right? Exactly, Mom. That's why. Yeah, we see each other in videos. <laughs> Thank God, right? You asked to meet others. Right, you think you have, right. Uh, but you can't stay with them. I noticed that. Yeah, it's very lonely life. Right, and have being a psychic medium. Right, it is odd uh, for someone who, right, you're an ET soul, a psychic medium, you got all this weird shit going on. <laughs> right, my family thinks I'm not my own. Your little brother, he thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> right, we're not going to go there. Anyways, um... That's true, and it is a very lonely life, but that's the purpose, and that is what an ET soul is. That's a good question. Yeah, I just asked John, well, if you have not received, excuse me, honey, I need a drink, uh, this information uh, from the horse's mouth, the spirit realm, that you are an ET soul, how would you know? You don't really, but you're wondering about science. Right. If you are, yes, basically a loner. Hello? Yeah, no, okay, we're not going to go there. That's my personal information. He takes after his mother. He did, yeah. I was just wondering if he opted out early. No, that was about our, that was more about your lighting a fire under my ass. Let's <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Right. Um, right, so no, we're not going to go there. The signs. Um. I like being able to talk to them in my head because if I mess up what I have requested, I can you can keep it from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my family's back here cracking up at Charlotte. That was she. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Is it? Um, there is and there isn't because there are typical earthlings. Like, yes, like my grandpa. My grandpa. What? He was the most outgoing in the family, him and Uncle Ralph, right? Uh, your grandmother, right, right. I remember my great-grandma Regina being very quiet and shy. Right, you always said, uh, that's why you thought I felt comfortable with my great-grandmother, right? And that's partially true. So there are people who typically incarnate, hi, Grandma, on <laughs> planet Earth, that are basically uh, earthling souls. Right. However, if you are extremely aware of, I'm going to say the consequences of the way things have been on this planet, and you're trying to change them, uh, yet, okay, <clears throat> you have these inclinations, right, for what my mother calls more the woo woo. We're out in the astral plane. Right, you're not really into the science of astronomy, the planets, or even E.T. Right, now you do remember that kind of right. You don't have to be, but when you are so centered on what goes on that you can't see, what it affects here, my mother is saying, you may be one. Now we can't say for sure, but these are some of the signs feeling different. You explained, oh, that's true, Mom. Right. You explained you always felt different. And none of us ever 
perceived you as different, but you felt different in school, in my own home. Well, with my family and friends, right. You always felt different. And that contributed to your shyness, too. Yeah, I was afraid of people like, think I'm crazy or if I talk, you know, right. That's part of it. But you told me once that the minute you stepped into school, yeah, I can't remember if it was preschool or actual kindergarten, you know, elementary school, right around that age, you looked around and said, what the hell am I doing here? I'm going to say it your way. Yeah, excuse my mother's French. This place is fucking nuts. I want out. Right. My mother has wanted off of this planet since the time she was a small child. Um, that's a good sign. Not feeling comfortable here. Not feeling at home. That's a good way to put it, Mom. Not, I don't feel at home here. I love nature. I love the wild thing. Right. And that's what you can't relate to. Society. Mm -hmm. So that is, is a sign. Now this does not necessarily mean you're a definite ET soul. You could be an earthling soul who is waking up and saying, wow, right. And listening to what, I don't want to say more advanced, but souls from other planets are saying. Yeah, because once you have a taste, yeah, you keep wanting to go back home to see it. Can they come back and just take me with them this time? <laughs> Right. Oh, that's a hint for the next video. Sorry. Right. So, yeah. And that's basically what it is. It is hard to tell unless you have direct access to your spirit guides. Um, it's more a guessing game. Right, Mom, but don't worry about it. It's right. Go ahead, say that, Mom. Um, that was Grammy Simshaw. Right. It's not so important. If you're an ET soul or not, that doesn't make us better than uh, earthling souls. It doesn't. What's important is whether or not you're waking up to all this, who you truly are, what's going on in this planet and maybe others that need to be fixed, the vibration needs to be raised. That's what's important. Not the label. Not, oh gee, am I an ET soul? Uh, I know it's, it's a curiosity. It's interesting to know. Don't make it your label, your identity. Because in the whole scheme of things, right, we're actually all from the spirit realm. Right, we're all spirits. So we're all actually from the same place. It's just where we have a tendency to incarnate. That doesn't make or break us. It doesn't make us better or less than. So don't worry about that. It's just an interesting topic. You, right, everybody's right. You could be an earthling soul and be waking up and advancing. I would think that, right, Mom? I don't really want to go here, but if you typically incarnate on this planet and you're waking up and advancing, congratulations, I look up to you. I'm in awe. That's the way I look at it, but it's not really the labels aren't born. In the spirit realm at home, we don't really care about the goddamn labels. Right? That's part of the reason, Mom, mothers, yeah, Mom, that uh, we have trouble with the way you guys verbalize things right the phrases labels is because we don't have them upstairs there really is no labels for these things we just see them and observe right it's true you don't want to do that too much while we're incarnate right if we could talk about that one day too so anyways that's all there is to that okay thanks for that information so we have our next video ties in with this as i accidentally let the cat out of the bag not mine thankfully right she's nice and quiet um today for some reason <coughs> So the next video has something to do with this. And I'm going to leave you with that. Bless it be. And make it a joyful one.